I've told you in the in the Pacific Northwest, we had our cast of characters, and I've told you about Dirty Jim, Jim McCormick. But for those of you who don't Dirty know Jim, Dirty Jim, yes. Mc, Dirty Jim McCormick. <laughs> so Dirty Jim, you know, he's hovering around there in the 2300 marks. But there were there, there, there were some sharks in the area. It was like Bruce Harper and Jonathan Berry and, uh, you know, Gordon Taylor and Robert Zook, Peter Biasis. So, you know, Jim is not jumping into the Washington Open. The Washington Open is our most prestigious event each and every year outside of the Washington State Championship, right, which is a closed round robin. The Washington Open, you know, I had something pretty nice in those days. You know, I'm talking like $500 first prize in the top section, right? Thank and, you. you know, Jim's not jumping into the tournament because, you know, he's afraid Peter's going to show up. You know, Bob Zook is going to show up, you know, like then he's got to, you know, weigh the scales. Like, should he pay the entry fee or not? So, you know... The, the tournament director is really ringing the bell and saying, registration's closed. <laughs> That's it. It's over. And Jim jumps. So, you know, and he goes down the list, you know, like Bob isn't in the tournament. Peter's not in the tournament. Bruce Harper's not in the tournament. Yep. I'm in. I'll yep. play. <laughs> the director's like, no, nah, no, nah, you waited too long. The, the pairings are are posted. And we've got all the pairings. And if you enter the tournament, you're an odd number. Yeah. It's an odd number of players. And I don't want to give you a buy, and I don't want to give any other player a buy. So you're out. No, Jim's protesting vociferously. And the director feels a little sorry for Jim. And he says, okay, if you can get somebody else to play in the tournament, I'll let you in. So Jim, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, like any schmuck. You know, any schmuck will do. So he's in the <laughs> lobby of the hotel. He sees this bearded guy sitting on, all, all, all alone. Do you play chess? Uh, guy shakes his head. Yeah. Says, do you want to play in the tournament? You know, this weekend tournament? Guy says, no. He says, no, you have to play. Guy <laughs> says, no, I have no money. <sighs> <laughs> so Jim drags the guy over to the tournament director and he says, okay, this guy's going to play and I'm paying his entry fee as well as my own. <laughs> okay, says the director. So he says to the guy, are you a Northwest Chess member? The guy goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, okay, I'll pay the Northwest yeah, I got the membership <laughs> too. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Are you a USCF member? Oh, Jim. <laughs> I'll, pay the, I'll pay the USCF membership for the guy. Too. Okay. And then, of course, the $20 membership for playing in the tournament. Jim, you know, you know <laughs> he's forking it over. Money. Forking over all the cash, cash. And Jim was already figuring out how he's going to spend the first prize. And the tournament director says, Well, you guys go and play. I don't care over there on a board. <laughs> Guess who lost the first game and didn't show up for the rest of the tournament? <laughs> Dirty Jim had found some, you know, Canadian master that was traveling through <laughs> and beat him in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> paid his entry fee, paid his membership <laughs> dues. <laughs> And lost to him in the first round. And lost the game as well. Let's say Jim was a bit upset. I mean, <laughs> hey, oh, the guy never lied. He said he played chess and he doesn't he have any of these memberships. I mean, no, no USCM membership. No. Oh, oh, we had a cast of characters in the Northwest. I grew up with these Jim. guys. Dirty Jim McCormick, Victor's Pooples, Victor's Pooples, brilliant, uh, uh, an escapee from Latvia, and he was a top master, won a lot of the Washington championships, a, a, a real legend in the Northwest, and <laughs> Victor's was playing, Victor's Pooples was playing in an open tournament at the American Chess Service, uh, the chess club in Seattle that was run by Rack. 
Robert Anthony Karch. So RAC was Mr. Northwest Chess, and he organized all of these tournaments that I played in, and I grew up in these RAC events. Yeah. And, you know, Victor's is playing in one of these five rounds uh, a weekend event, and uh, he's played his first move in the, the first round game, and he's going through the different rooms of the American Chess Service, and he comes into one room, and he sees the guy has set up the chess table, the chess pieces, and started his opponent's clock. And the guy's in the room all by himself instead of the main hall, right? Like, what the, what the hell, man? Why, why is it? So Victor's goes and he looks at the, uh, cro- uh, the score sheets, the, not the score sheets, the pairing yeah, sheets. The and he sees, like, on board 41... <laughs> There's this guy, uh, we'll call him Amon, versus Bai, B-Y-E, all in capital letters. So Victor thinks, that's strange. The guy's getting a buy. He's getting a point for free. Yep, that's what that means. Because there's an odd number of, 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 of people in the tournament. And Victor goes into the room again, and there's a guy, you know, he's got a score sheet. He's like, the clock has started, he's still thinking, you know. <laughs> so Victor comes into the room and goes, hi, I'm Billy Bai. <laughs> <laughs> I shake his head, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. you know? They start playing, and, and Victor does a simul between, <laughs> between board one and board 41. <laughs> you know, like, and he wins both games. He wins both games. <laughs> so the guy on board 41, you Legend. know, is really good. You know, you're a really good player. He signs the score sheet. And he goes and he returns the score sheet to Rack, you know, like, and Rack says, you know, like, what board were you on? 41. And how'd you do? Uh, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Rack goes up. Says, you, you lost to the bye? <laughs> How do you lose to the buy? <laughs> the guy says he's very good. <laughs> <laughs> he was very good. <laughs> hey, look, I got up classed and outplayed. I got outplayed in the opening. <laughs> <laughs> Lost to the buy. <laughs> How do you lose to the buy? <laughs> oh my god. So you you get a taste. Billy buy. <laughs> a true menace at the tournaments. With, what I grew up with, man. I'm telling you, the <laughs> chess in the Northwest was crazy. <laughs> Some real characters, yes. Yeah.